What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome to the. Uh, this is Jay. Yeah, Game Chasers back with another commentary. And who else is here with us? Melvor. Smelvor. Melvor. Snorvor. Milf. Snorvor. Yes. Yes. All right. So, so are we on are episode, on episode. What? One? 38. 38. 38? 38. Yeah, it's 38. Oh, you know what? You look so freaking stupid in this intro. Oh, you know what? Oh, you're going <laughs> to He knows, too. Look, that's his embarrassed face right there. Wait, are you talking to him? Yes. Who, oh, me? okay. Also, oh, I thought you were talking to Billy. I, yeah, me too. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I don't look stupid. No, you, little, you look stupid, too. Well, that's All right, up. episode 38, y'all. Buried treasures. Treasure. This um, is using the GoPro... Nice shot. Could have been color corrected, but. <laughs> Why does it look so grainy? Screw you. Because this is, this is a very extremely low res uh, version that I rendered out for this particular version that we're watching. Oh. So, you know, I, I don't want to spend three hours rendering something out. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is, I guess, when I started actually letting my hair down, so to speak. Because I think in the ones previous to this, it was all up in the hat to, to so we wouldn't f*** up continuity. So why don't you tell that story, actually? That's something I think the viewers would be interested uh, in hearing. So <clears throat> when it comes to actually using footage, sometimes we're like nine months behind. And so the ones before this, the Con Bravo episodes, and so, um, they were recorded uh, in the summer. And then we recorded our interviews like eight months later. By that time, I had long hair. So I didn't. I didn't want to be, God, I look frumpy. I didn't want to have long hair in the interviews and then uh, short hair in the actual footage, so I'll put it up in the hat to hide it. I think the second Toy Chasers, though, that's how it was, because it was like a year and a half or so. Probably. And, like, I think, like, you had long hair in the interview footage and it was real short during the actual filming. I'm jealous of that still, by the way. That's actually really? kind of cool. Yeah. Dude, I still have that. Yeah. No, I love. I love. Now, do you stuff want like it? That. Yeah, yeah, I do. Actually. I want it too. You don't have anywhere to put it. You don't have anywhere to put it. I don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah, neither one of you have anywhere to put it. Shit, I don't have anywhere to put it. I mean, if you want to get technical, no. Did you ever put that model together? Uh, no, I never put it together. I just. I like just keeping stuff like that complete until I get like a duplicate copy. We have a work video game here. together. Well, video game, would you even call it a video game? I don't even remember this episode. Well, it's unmemorable, that's why. <laughs> All I know is I I didn't film this. Who was the cameraman here, Chris? Yeah. yeah. Um what was actually kind of cool the how this was all set up was uh, my sister-in-law was actually getting married in a small town, uh, Gladewood. It's about two hours from her, us, and it's in this really small town. Yeah, that's a fascinating story. <laughs> hey, listen here, asshole. <laughs> I'm going to f*** you up, man. I'm going to f*** you up, you little punk. But this small town, I was just going by, like, they had a bunch of, like, thrift stores and pawn shops, so I was going to each one asking for video games, and this dude actually had video games there. He had... And also vintage Star Wars figures, asshole. You want to tell me it's a stupid story now? You had vintage Star Wars figures, and I actually saw you saw them a little bit, uh, like a but well, I mean they weren't in the best condition, but they were still vintage Star Wars. But yeah, I, would, uh, I was like, can we come back and shoot? And he was like, sure, why not? He goes on because uh, he he knew he had more Atari stuff back. Oh, there. this is where Chris was freaking freaking out because there was those banditos in the, at the restaurant. Remember? Yeah. He was like, oh, we shouldn't stop in there. There's Banditos. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Banditos is a, a motorcycle club. Texas based. I think they're originally out of like San Antonio. Club or a or gang? Well. Doesn't sound like, why it, would he be scared it, of a motorcycle club? Motorcycle clubs are the gangs. Hells Angels and shit like that. Those are motorcycle <clears throat> clubs. And then you got riding clubs, which would be, you know, your school teachers that get together on the weekends and just ride. But motorcycle clubs are typically stereotyped as motorcycle gangs. Anyways, the Banditos, I think, started out of San Antonio, and they're like, they're one of the rough ones. 
and Chris was scared because did you get any of that on tape? The, yeah, we were just, he was just talking about it. Oh. And I said, I, I, I I like, said, what are they going to do? Shake us down for our lunch money? I like the idea of, of being of us being scared of a club. <laughs> just a bunch. Of, um, I mean, I mean, seriously, what are motorcycle? What are they going to do to us? It's not like we're a rival gang. Well, they weren't going to. That's the point. And it's just funny. Chris was so fucking scared about it because they weren't going to do anything. Just like anyone else, don't fuck with them. They're not going to fuck with you. I mean, you can go up to anyone in a restaurant and be like, "Fuck you, ass." and <laughs> most likely some shit's going to go down. Look everywhere, look everywhere. So basically I uh, was coming um, from the uh, the idea that there was actually still stuff in here because when I was here before, I got some decent uh, Super Nintendo games, but it was just a couple. But he, yeah, like he said, he knew that there was a Matari stuff back there, but we didn't know exactly what it was, and he didn't know exactly what it was. What he was just that? Knew he had a, like a bag of like cowboys and Indians, like the army men style. <laughs> Smelling your upper lip. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Smelling your, your upper lip. <laughs> your upper lip smells like. <laughs> 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 Why am I wearing white shoes? Why was I in a white shoe phase? You're stupid. Why were you in that hair phase? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Is your hair short there, or is it just in a ponytail? It's, it's growing ponytail. back. No, it, on the episode, it's just growing out. In well, yeah, because you had the same issue I had. Yeah, the interview is long. This is a little. Oh, so you purposely put it back to make it look like it was shorter? Well, no, he always wears it. I always wear ponytail. In a ponytail. You're not wearing one now? Well, because I'm not on camera right now. Well, it's something. Yeah, it's something. What is it? You, you want me to put in a ponytail? Would that make you feel better, you little it's bastard? <laughs> I don't care. So when you find little tidbits like this, like a game you're here and there, it always encourages you to keep keep going. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> this is still the old background, which you really never cared for, did you, Billy? Uh, it's okay. I just prefer the ones we use now. It's, I think it's a little bit more high quality. Well, lo and behold, we got something. Actually, here. somebody ripped on one in one of the comments. Ripped on what? The, the, the new ones. I've never seen it's like bad Photoshop and stuff. I've never once seen that. I don't see any cords, but to start, it's not a big deal. I'm not really interested because I want the video games. We're finding little bits here and there. Did we pick that plate, that uh, Super Nintendo up? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah, what was so. that? Well, we can't go back now. Ricky Tiki Tabi. Was that? I don't was think that so. Was that the throne from, that C3PO was on in, no, in the Ewoks? No, 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 no. If it was, we would have picked it up. Definitely would have picked that up. It's getting hot. I'm getting dirty. Er. You know, if we were the close chaser, we we we'd, we'd, <laughs> we should we should make that a spinoff. The close, close, chasers. close chasers. Yes. <laughs> None of us know dick about fashion. Where do you, where do you think they are? He thinks they're somewhere in that area, like the back back corner or no, the blue shell. Blue I you know what? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. This sucks. You want to know why this sucks? This is almost the level of okay. So the the worst the worst episode ever was the one where where you guys went back. Um, um, with uh, Heidi and um, and Jared, okay, uh, to what's his name's place, and it wasn't what made it. Sorry, was the camera work. <clears throat> okay, well, I mean that it, it made it just a slow, long, drawn out thing. Who's, whose fault is that? It wasn't then? Billy's fault. Billy worked with what he had, which wasn't anything. I mean, he could have gotten better shots with a tripod set up. This this isn't bad. This, this blows. No, nah, it's not that bad. It does. It's not. It's, I mean, all the shots were there. At least the the shot of the the, the gold, the the money shot. At least that was picked it up. Was there. Yeah. I think oh, you're well, just, your standards are, are are so high. You you're just a fucking. Fuck. <laughs> I think what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to do anything. You're, I'm, to, you're just trying to build yourself up. I'm just saying this was a forgettable episode, and now I I know why now watching this again. Nah, it it's. I actually like this one because it's dig we're digging for stuff. I don't think 
people care about the camera shots. We're, we're um, Empire Strikes Back, um, obviously Pong. I mean, my first video game memory was boxing on the Intellivision, and shortly after that, it was Pac-Man and Space Invaders, all the classics on... How about that camera work? You like that camera work? Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, thank you. Meh. You need to clean, you need to clean your Atari off. Hey, I mean, dusty Ataris are played Ataris. <laughs> Wait, dusty Ataris are what? Played Ataris. Dusty Ataris would be unplayed. No. Wouldn't wouldn't it be unplayed? No, I kind of think so. No. That means because they're, they're neglected. Out, they're, thank you. They're, they're sitting no. around. Nothing's happening. Uh -huh. They're out in the open for yep. dust to collect on. No. <laughs> if, they're, if they're tucked away in a box or a closet, how's dust going to get on them? You know well, what no, that, no, no. It's not what we're saying. It's not what we're saying. Dumb. Okay, but when you play a console, do you wipe it down every time you play it? Yeah, I, I bet yeah, you. I bet you. Yeah. I bet you. Right yeah. now, if I went to your your apartment, I did the white glove across your PS4. It'd be dusty. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Found um, a lot of people may or may not know about it. There's a Mario Brothers on the 2600. Um, obviously, the graphics aren't as good, but the graphics. I I really like that game. I'm not saying I like the 2600 version, which it looks like you sped that up. I don't um, remember if I did or not. I like the NES version. The game gets no love, dude. I'm just saying. The game gets no love. Hang on. I'm not done, though. Cool as it is that we found the twins. Well, I've only played it on NES, and it seems like you're running on ice half the time. Like Dumb! Dumb. Dumb? Dumb. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Don't do Although, it would make for a good video. What if I die? Yeah. <laughs> that would have made for a good video. If that would have been. That would have made this the the best episode. Hey, ever. Yeah, like it would have went viral. Shelf, if that whole shelf would have just came down on both of you idiots, that would have been amazing. Wait. <laughs> up. Fuck you. <clears throat> on this episode of the Game Chasers. Oh! Actually, you know what would have been even better than that? Um, at Bobby's in California. No, dude, no. That would have been death. That this would have been, been death. Been, I would have yeah. been like, uh, on this one. At Bobby's, this would have been, been funny. Dead. That would have been like, no more game chasers. That's what that would have been. <laughs> yeah. Because you guys would have hit on concrete. And there's one thing for something to fall on you, but to fall from that height. Hey, um, do me a favor and put that with the rest of it, would you? I'll oh, <laughs> fall on Bobby. Do you see how, how I was trying to be all coy about it? Hey, um... Just gonna put this with the rest. You're so obvious too. I was I was being sarcastic, you idiot. I like the fact that in this box at least there were some uncommon boxes. Dude, look at that artwork. That's awesome. <clears throat> you don't got the nuts to do a segment where you talk about box art. Yeah, you don't got the nuts to do that. Yeah, bitch. fine, I'll do it then. I can do it. Is is like none other. That's part of the reason why I love to collect boxes. It's just simply for the art. Night Stalker. I like that robot. I like the robot. Why did the robot need teeth? By the did way, that, did that um, documentary ever come out on the box art, video game art? Work? I don't think so. Not that I know. There of wasn't anyways. a documentary, but there was a book. I have the book. No, it's different. Different project. The wood grain. It came out in '84. They were basically just trying to squeeze every last dime that they could out of out of you know the the 2600. That was my. And one of the games in here that's caught my eye already is a game called Infiltrate. Uh, you go up and down, try to find the documents, and then... That actually looks kind of cool. It's like elevator action to me. The, the, those uh, those dudes look like uh, frag guys, look. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They're constantly moving and stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's your basic 2600 game. Only because it looks like uh, <laughs> it's a stupid movie you uh, like. Logan's Run. Logan's Run. I like Logan. No, uh, there was a game? No, no, no. He's saying that it looks like Logan's Run. Oh. Who said that? That guy. The worst movie ever, dude. Uh, I don't know what you are talking about. Billy, Billy. Oh my goodness, Billy. Billy highly recommended Logan's Run. Okay, so okay? yeah, tell tell him the full story. Like, what was it? So, like, and he just kept talking about this movie. And, then, right? and this was like 10, 20, 10 15 years ago. Yeah, something? this yeah. was almost. This yeah. was like thirteen years ago. It's been a so. running joke. And. <clears throat> well, it's not a joke. I, the movie's a joke. I no, it's a joke. It. Yeah, your y'all's opinions are. I jokes. got it. I'm... No, no, no. Hold on. I got it, and I'm like, all right, this is you know, I'm gonna watch a good movie, and I'm watching this piece of crap, and it just about halfway through. That's when it hit me. Wait a second. I am taking the advice of Billy, Billy, who who had uh, Terror Tunes, 
And <laughs> uh, what's that Chupacabras movie, Legend of the Chupacabras? Legend of the Chupacabras, yeah. yeah <laughs> absolutely horrendous oh. movies. No, they're... Oh, and The Creeps. <laughs> Charles the creeps. Band movie. Yeah, I got great, amazing taste. But no, you can't say that about Logan Drun because Logan Drun is considered a classic by a lot of people. Well, a lot of idiots then. No, Logan Drun sucks. You dude. you did not get the the meaning or message behind it. That's why. Oh, okay. It exactly. went over my head. I don't think that it went over your head. I just think that you were so turned off about it, you didn't allow it to go into your head. I went in there with an open <laughs> mind, expecting a good movie, until I got. I did too. Like legit, I I would I didn't prejudge the movie. Oh, is this episode where I found everything? Because it looks like I'm finding everything. Actually, do you want cookies to go along with your Actually, finds? Yes. Do you have any cookies? I ate them all. Motherfucker! I asked you earlier if you wanted the last one. Earlier, you when me when you were laying on the floor on your phone, I couldn't hear you. The fan was in my my ears. Well, no cookies for you. Well, fuck you. No cookies for you. Three sexual cookies. I do have eyes of the hawk. It's true. The high statement. eyes of the fox. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> eyes of the. Fuck. Is that what you said? No, fox. 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 <laughs> With an offer for everything, and see if he bites. They're all mine, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the only. You know what? We need to contact that guy from that uh, flea market and see if he has. He had. He said he had storage. We should, ask, we should ask if we could go rummaging through his stuff. What Although guy? he probably wouldn't want us in at, at this point. Who are you talking about? The last episode. What last episode? When we guys stood around like a couple of idiots. Oh. Oh, yeah. Stood around like idiots? Or yeah. found a new negotiating method? No. There's a difference. No. Stood around like idiots. What tape was that? I don't even know. It was a music tape. It wasn't a game. What's the deal with VHS? I don't understand why people are collecting those now. Because that was crappy technology when it was because new. because you can find movies on VHS that were never released on DVD. Okay, fair enough. That's a good point. But that's not what people are doing. People are going and they're freaking getting. Well, dude, it's it's nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It's nostalgia. Like I and, and some people actually still watch them. Uh, Ross. Yeah, we know people who actually still watch VHS tapes. It's what I grew up watching movies in that crappy format. So it, it's like it's like listening, yeah, listening. Like so much older than we are. It's listen to, it's Dude, listening back in the to. 80s, I, I swear I remember like saying, "There's got to be a better way to watch a movie instead of this rewinding oh, everything." Oh, shut the f up! No, you didn't. You want to bet? No, oh, okay, yeah, because you were on the leading cusp of technology. I didn't say I was inventing this stuff. This f guy, get the f out of here! Screw you! Watch the episode. See, that's the thing. This episode sucks. We're not even talking about it. This episode's not that bad. This episode's not that bad. You ain't getting it. There was stuff that we were, there was stuff that was found. Actually, oh, this fuck. is the one where you go to that little store, right? There was some cool stuff in that store. What? You have you, you not, not even watched it? What are you talking about? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll see. That little store? What yeah. little store? Oh, you. Oh. I think, I think he means that store that was like in episode in season like six or some or five <laughs> where we all went to that pawn shop near my house and that was um yeah it has nothing to do with this episode was this a mini episode no this was like uh this should have been a mini episode no it shouldn't have what do you what do you know what are you basing that on do you hate it that much this is probably my second least liked episode oh really yeah really look chris is the only life in this thing <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's stupid perfect way to end that actually